Welcome back to Just Campers and welcome back to Lewis's Bug. And in this episode, really, really exciting, I'm actually gonna start putting the car back together. So that'll please Lewis no end and actually please me to see it going back together and be in a car again. I actually can't wait. So first thing I need to pop in is the front to rear brake pipe. When I took the old floor pan out, I actually cut the old rear brake pipe, front to rear brake pipe. Uh, it was pretty old and didn't look that great. So luckily we sell these at Just Campers already pre-cut with the ends on, the right length, ready to go. So it couldn't be easier. So I'll get this popped in and uh, get some brakes working again. So the easiest way for me to do it is actually starting at the rear. So I can pop this through the rear bulkhead, uh, screw it into the brake T-piece and then work my way forward and then making the shape of the brake pipe, folding it down the side of the um, floor pan, get it through the front bulkhead, actually then get it shaped up to meet the master cylinder. Needs to go back up over the axle, lovely. And then just need to dive underneath and, uh, ooh, careful. Got to be really careful about Lewis's new paintwork. Uh, and then we can get that screwed into the union and then we can move forward. Just gently. So I've just got it started. I'm just gonna gently wind it in with my spanner. And obviously when you're bending brake pipes, you need to be really gentle with them. Um, they do bend quite nicely, but it's trying to get a nice bend without kinking it. Obviously if you kink it, you've got to change the pipe because you won't get any fluid flow. Right, so we've got it going through the rear and screwed into the rear um, brake union at the back. Next, before we, we don't want to bend the pipe too much, um, I need to get through the front bulkhead and get it in place, and then we can lay it down where it should do. We really only want to bend the, the brake pipe once. Um, if we start bending it a few times and you can work hard on it and you can actually crack it. So bear that in mind, <laughs> trying to do it once and once only. There we go. Now that bit's through, so we can leave that for the minute. And what we'll do, we'll put our grommet in afterwards. Yeah, the floor pan didn't come with a hole, so I've drilled the hole for the brake pipe. Uh, then what I need to do is put a little bit of paint around the bare metal, and then we can put a proper brake pipe grommet in. Not easy for me to say, uh, which obviously we sell here, so that's no worries at all. Sorry, Lewis, so where I drilled the hole, uh, the debris from the drilling fell out onto your new sticky paintwork, and like, <laughs> I can't get rid of that now. You might have to paint over that bit. Really sorry. Oops. So again, I've got the brake pipe all the way through the car now. I'm gonna start at the back end and just gently start manipulating it into place and getting the bends right. So a little bit fiddly, but we just take our time. So as I said before, we've got to try and keep the pipe nice and smooth. We don't want to bend it and kink it. So we'll try and keep the, the bends nice and smooth all the way through here. So it's come through this hole and then we're up against the tunnel edge all the way along to the front, and then it goes round the front of the floor pan and through the bulkhead. Uh, now this is usually held in place by little tabs, but obviously as the cars get older, the tabs snap off. So the other thing you can do is use the little uh, five mil type uh, P-clips and P-clip it in if you wish. Uh, don't forget the carpet's going over it anyway, so it will be sort of, you can glue it in place with the carpet, secure it if you needed to. And the pipe should sort of hold itself pretty much in, in, in place. Um, I probably will put a couple of little P-clips along the way though, just to make it perfect. I'm at the master cylinder end, popping the brake pipe in, top tip. Use a nice socket like this to bend your pipe round. There we go. Get the socket out, we've got a lovely 90 degree bend. Perfect. That's the brake pipe done. Now, let's get our pedal set back in. Cool, well, that's the pedals back in. I've actually adjusted them a little bit more than they were originally, because I remember originally we didn't have a lot of clutch throw, so the pedals were already quite upright. We had a very short amount of travel. So what I've done is actually brought the pedals back to where they should be with the pedal stop, and uh, that's much better. So all we've got to do now is uh, bleed the brakes, and then uh, pick the next job. That's the brake bled and we've got a brake pedal. Next, I think we're just gonna crack on and put the car back together. I need to give it a really good clean in here, <laughs> it's filthy. 
put all the interior back in, get the fuel tank back on. I've got a wing to go on the back, a wing to go on the front, the running board to go on, and a set of wheels. So what am I waiting for? Oh, and the door. Well, let's get cracking. Well, there you go. What an epic journey. I hope you've enjoyed the episodes as much as I have. Obviously in the beginning when we started, I thought it was gonna be quite a nice, easy, sort of a few bits of maintenance, check the brakes out, obviously engine wise as well. And then the corrosion stuff obviously escalated from a tiny little hole to all that lot on the floor. What am I gonna do with that now? At least all the rubbish is out. We've got a lovely new floor pan in, a new heater channel, both the A and the B posts are repaired and the new quarter panel on the front. So the last thing we've got to do, actually it's over to Lewis now, is to get this little bit painted and pop the chrome trim on. And we are all done. And that wraps up our projects for 2023. Unbelievable, we're at the end of the year already. Thank you very much for watching for this year. Stay tuned for 2024. Who knows what's coming? Hopefully loads more projects. Have a lovely Christmas and have a happy new year from all of us at Just Campers. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time. <laughs>